I'm John Totoro, and I'm here to inform you a little bit about the FDNY Fire Family Transport Foundation. It was founded in uh, 1993. There, it's an all-volunteer group. There's no salaries, no compensation. It started with one van, and now they have over 35 vans. They've commissioned vans to the FDNY for transportation of active duty personnel and their families. They keep and maintain five foundation fans, uh, vans, not fans, vans, I say I was thinking because I'm an actor, vans, that uh, those five foundation vans that are used to transport retired FDNY members. They're used every day and the need is increasing. In New York City, there's over 900 FDNY personnel, both active and retired, that have WTC illnesses. That's from the World Trade Center attacks. And working, being there and working there after with trying to find survivors. Uh, we need to replace uh, these older high mileage vehicles due to increased demand and usage. We need more volunteers due to increased usage. Please contact Fire Family Transport or Miss Chris Garcia, 212-570-1693. They have two antique rigs that have been used in over 260 funerals in the past seven years. And the vans are, and vehicles, they're used to transport families to hospitals and funerals. I just want everyone to know this is a non-profit organization. The central focus of the foundation is assisting families, firefighters in their times of greatest need in transporting firefighters family members and department personnel to and from medical institutions, both for care and family support. And there we're also, they're also there. I, I say we, because I'm speaking uh, for them. Uh, they're also dedicated to the comfort and support of the families of firefighters in their time of bereavement. Uh, so their immediate aim is to minimize the negative impact, impact and injuries and fatalities that members of the fire family endure by providing transportation, support, uh, and vehicles in conjunction with the fire department. Uh, I think it's a great organization. It's a completely non-profit or organization. And these are people doing this, they're depending on this, uh, the equipment and funds and service to carry out its missions. And so you can really help in this uh, situation. Uh, these are people who are givers. And I think it's time for all of us to, you know, to, to think about what we can do to help these people who help us every day. I also, I want to speak about, uh, uh, besides the, uh, the wonderful uh, FDNY Fire Family Foundation Transport about BGC Charity Day. It's uh, this is this is the 19th anniversary of the 9/11 World Trade Center attacks. BGC it donates 100% of its global revenues on Charity Day to the Cantor Fitzgerald Relief Fund and dozens of charities around the world. In addition to giving money to these charities, the Cantor Relief Fund also accepts donations from the general public. And you just visit the website www.cantorrelief.org to donate. And it started uh, in commemoration, the Charity Day uh, began, commemoration of the 658 Cantor Fitzgerald and 61 Euro brokers employees lost in the 9-11 World Trade Center attacks. It's a uh, charity event, it's a, it's a global event, charity day, I meant to say. It's a global event. Uh, and but it's hard to uh, have it at Cantor's New York offices this year because of COVID. Uh, you can just tag BGC Charity Day at BGC Charity Day. Okay, and it's the Cantor Relief Fund on social media. You can also uh, tag the FDNY, Fire Family Transport Foundation. Uh, tag Fire Family Transport and at BGC Charity Day. Uh, these are people who've given a lot of themselves, uh, uh, the FDNY, uh, uh, most especially uh, to our city, to every city, 
and uh, they're real givers. And in time of such extreme need with COVID and all the division and everything that's going on and us being just designated an anarchist city, which I, I, I don't really understand exactly. I know there's problems, but we're not an anarchist uh, city. Yeah, okay. These are people who keep us together. And even if you disagree or whatever, they're there in your time of need. And I think we have to support them just like they support us. So please, please, this is, uh, I'm using whatever uh, input uh, I have and communication skills to, uh, if, you, if you have a little time, effort, you want to volunteer, you want to give money, you know, check it out. It's, it's really worthy of, uh, of your attention. All right. Thank you. Be safe. Uh, be smart. Wear a mask. Think about the people around you and uh, stay healthy. All right. Take care.